The coming of Ruto killed that Kikuyuism, that ki traditional Kikuyuism that we used to think that uh, Aluo cannot lead me or any other tribe cannot lead me. That one has died now. The next crop of generation of leadership is, is going to be so based on economic. Towards the end of the Kenyatta family, they don't believe they have come to an end. It is the end of the Moi family, they don't believe they have come to an end. It is the end of the Winga family and they still don't believe. I'm telling you, I can assure you, for free, they will never come to power. Ever, ever. And if they dare push it, it will be civil war. From Achokora. From Achokora. I have a beautiful home in Nairobi. I live in Runda. And I went and created my own space in Runda. Kulikwana my sharks. Like in the tour, we can eat a shamba. Yeah, in Nakuru, there are sharks. In hotel, I'm a any house in Nakuru. It was not. It was not just found there. Ti, hey, amuka, manoti kujia. Ndio, ndio ni yako. No, you have to go for it. Angari ya ruto, a very good example. A man I admire. Alianza kuza maya ikuku. Alianza kuka kuza kuku. Uki kangari ya kakimba ire kwa ya. Ire kakimbi ya moi. Just look at that boy and look the boy, the man now. You see, this is a transition of a self-belief. So it is all about self-belief. Angadia Susan Kiheka. She has just fought herself. But does does not stop you from becoming. As long as what is in between your two ears is focused that I'm going to capture. You don't get it for free. You capture, you control, you fight, you displace and you have no mercy. Yeah. Never have mercy on earth. Because God does not have any mercy with anybody. God hates lazy people. God hates poor people. God hates those people that does not align with him. God says, I'm a jealousy God. Yes. I'm a thunder. He thunders. He kills. He destroys. He will send me here to Nakuru, displace all of them, and don't feel mercy at them. Tuachi hapo, tuachi hapo, aposto. Umeanza kupreji. Labla, tuji hapo, umesemu kakonka, kabla tuingilie mambo ya leo, tumeanza topi kingine, Nairobi, umesemu kavaye pale kibera. Tueleze kidogo, tueleze kidogo, labla ndo watu weweze pia kukufamu. No, Nairobi, I was not really, in the first place, I was not really vying. My intention was not vying until I got inside. And the idea is this is an opportunity. The people of Kibaki then, who hated Raida passionately, they're the ones who... Which year? Um, 2007. Yeah, 2007. Those people, they really hated Kibaki uh, Raida passionately. They, they said they called him Mugoroki, Kemondo. That's the Kikuyu notion. You know, the Kikuyus, we have two families, or maybe call it one family, that have ever controlled the Kikuyus. They manipulated them. Until now, they rebelled against them. Mm -hmm. uh, previously, the Kenyatta family directed us, dictated us, and decided for us. Mm -hmm. They're the one who stopped uh, uh, Matiba from being the president, and instead they brought in Kibaki. Kibaki was a project of Kenyatta family. Moi was a project of the Kenyatta family. It's them who brought Kenyatta, uh, Moi family, Moi into power. Then Moi brought the sun, returned the power to them. And why they stopped him, Matiba? Matiba was a radical. The way they wanted to stop uh, Ruto, because Ruto is a radical who brings changes. These are status quo people. They own the country. So everybody should think and walk according to them. They live there, they breathe them, they eat them. And that's why before the end of uh, Uhuru, 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 Uhuru reign, he had taken all the economic ventures in this country. All the banks now belong to Kenyatta family. All the um, manufacturing companies belong to them, insurance companies belong to them, the railway belong to them, roads in Nairobi belong to them, airport belong to them, milk belong to them. That is the Kenyatta family for you. They are capitalists, super capitalists. They want to own and make you slaves. The people who advise, the, the, the top-notch advisors of the Kenyatta family are Russians. You go to Chancery House, it is managed by the Russian people. And the Indians are the ones who are proxies. You know what I'm saying? Like Ply, Sugar, Western Sugar, those are proxies of the family. Go to Karen, there's too much land for them, proxies and everything. That is how they operate for you. So until uh, last election, when we had a super radical person, in the name of Ruto, 
is the one that who has liberated Kikuyus from the hands of Uhuru, the Kenyatta family. So Kikuyus now are charting a new course. By the time we get into the, new ele the next election, we will have a new dimension, a new direction of the Kikuyu community, thinking differently. And that's when we have if people like Kina Waroinges, the Kihekas, the, um, the Rashaguas, if they brand themselves nicely, we will do uh, an economic, economic empowerment uh, kind of uh, uh, proceeds that will change Africa, not Kenya alone, Africa. Because mm -hmm. Africa, because the, di the dimensions of how we look at things uh, is a different because the you know, the people who can compete with them are the Somalis and some Kisis. Um, they are adventurers, they are people who can invest anywhere. They are people who doesn't care whether I come, this is where I come from. No, like Aluo, they will go to Kisumu, uh, to Nairobi, but look around Kibera because that is where they think their community is. But Akikuyu will go to Nyarenda, inside, right inside the Kisumu, the, the Luo land, in a village, and start a supermarket there without care. Uh, if, I can, if I can cut you short, what about the Moi family, the Oginga family? The Moi and the Moi family and the Oginga family. One thing, what makes the four, what made the Moi family become strong, it is not of because because they are Moi families. No, it's because they were Kalenjins. Uh, if I if can give you a little bit of uh, the politics of this country, the Kikuyus and the Kalenjins are governors. They want to sit on other tribes. And the Kalenjin want to sit on Kikuyu and the Kikuyu want to sit on the Kalenjin. That is why we have always had war. Because we, both of us, we are colonizers. Kikuyus and the Kalenjins are colonizers. Kikuyus are Mau Maus. Uh, not near, yeah, I call them Mau Maus, but internally, they are colonizers. They will want to colonize. They will want to take control. They go to Kisumu, they want to run the show. They go to Garissa, they want to run the show. Just the same way, the Kalenjins, they are warriors. They also want to have that supremacy. Of controlling so you find these are two tribes at loggerhead now these two tribes what they do they rally other tribes behind them if they are not together Akikui will call a Luo if they are not together they will call a Luya Luyas and the other tribes and the Kisis they rally behind these two tribes this one creates a king and this one creates a king then they rally their people to come and they foment their power, the authority. Like now you can see now, Ruto rallied Kikuyus. While Raira, Raira tried to rally Kikuyus, but the Kikuyus refused. And he said, he went to rally other tribes that also gave him a, 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 a substantial kind of votes. So until, until that kind of supremacy is controlled, is managed, uh, this, this kind of uh, war will always be there. The challenges which are good if it is taken positively the country can grow if you can do it devoid of politics of violence then the country can grow very fast but now look at, look at Nakuru we voted the Kalenjin we voted the Kisi we voted the Kikuyus we voted all and they, you find they were all voted from a particular type a particular party meaning tribalism was not too much and the, the coming of Ruto killed that Kikuyuism, that ki traditional Kikuyuism that we used to think that uh, Aluo cannot lead me or any other tribe cannot lead me. That one has died now. The next crop of generation of leadership is, is going to be so based on economic and uh, not tribalism. Not tribalism. So whoever that will come with a challenge, because now you have a son, you are a Kisi and you have a son. And I'm very pretty sure in your house you don't speak Kisi, you speak Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So that is a tribalist generation that is coming up. A generation that doesn't care. I, sometimes, there's a time I told my son that we, uh, we can't vote for Raira. Then he asked me, what, what's wrong with Raira? He told, I told him, Raira is Aruo. He told me, so what? Uh, so what? Yes, he's Aruo. So what, daddy? And I was like, uh -huh. so what do you think about it? He told me, that's very primitive politics, Daddy. Yeah, you can't be saying, and I, you go to university. Mm -hmm. You see, talk about the uh, uh, rules and the challenge. You know, I was really challenged. Mm -hmm. Because the best friend of my, my son is a Luo. Mm -hmm. The other one is a Kalenjin, and the other is a Taita. And the other one was um, a Mkamba. So they play together, they come to sleep. They don't know 
who is a Kamba, they don't know who is a Luo, they don't know anything. So when I tried to tell them, basing my politics on a tribal factor, they laughed at me. Wali niona nikiwa mjinga, mbaka niliaibika. Niliaibika kabisa. Kutoka siku hiyo, ukabilo ni nitoka. So these people, our Toto Meza, they are radicals and they will change you. Now, now you, want to, you want to mean mm -hmm. this is the end now of Moi family, Oginga family, Kenyatta the, family? It was the end of the Kenyatta family. They don't believe they have come to an end. Uh -huh. It is the end of the Moi family. They don't believe they have come to an end. It is the end of the Oginga family. And they still don't believe. I'm telling you, I can assure you, for free, they will never come to power. Ever, ever. And if they dare push it, it will be civil war.